Are you guys tired of blowing apart your associated transmissions in the middle of a race and being done for the night? Don't worry guys, I got your solution right here. Hey guys, Devin with Team Unknown Racing here, uh, coming at you guys with another video. Today we're gonna go over the associated B1 three gear stand up transmission. A lot of guys, especially in the oval scene, are blowing apart your top shafts in the middle of the race and completely ending your guys' night because not a lot of people carry a top shaft with them in their toolbox. I started to for a while until I come figured this out because um, I've blown top shafts left and right. But a lot of people say it's the idler gear. Oh, I put a steel idler gear in, haven't had an issue since then. It's, it's not the idler gear, it's not the steel that's helping it out. But what I am going to do is show you what I did and how I fixed it and have not had an issue since then. So let's get into Okay, it. so here we have the associated uh, B61D transmission. Now before I open the, this up, this is going to be a disclaimer. The top shaft that it is in it right now is not an associated transmit, uh, top shaft. Do not use it. This is just solely for purpose of the video. My other... Uh, top shaft. I just built a brand new lay down transmission for my late model. So I didn't have a spare top shaft, correct top shaft. So as you can see, there's no bearing in here. But that is not, not what we're not worried about that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pull open the transmission, get that side of the case out, and pull your top shaft out, pull your idler gear out. And sometimes the bearings stick. Pull out your, pull out your differential. Put that bearing back in the idler gear so you don't lose it. And there you go. Now, this little white white post right or metallic post right here is your idler gear shaft. That's where your idler gear sits on. It's where it spins into. Now, what people are complaining about in the dirt oval world, and I have seen it also on in the off-road, so you guys, off-road guys can pay attention, is they're complaining about, we're going to put this back together real quick. What they're doing is they are complaining about your top shaft blowing apart, coming undone. <clears throat> Now, like I said, this is not the correct top shaft, so it is going to be naturally loose. But they're stripping out their top shafts, blowing them apart. And they're saying it's because of it being a plastic idler gear. That is far from the case. They say, oh, once I went to an aluminum or steel idler gear, my, my problems went away. That is not the problem in the associated transmission. The problem itself in the associated transmission, I'm grabbing a towel from my hands here real quick. The problem itself in the associated transmission, as you can see where the shaft goes into each of the holes, uh, it's mounting locations. What is going on is if you stick it in here and if you take a close look, this the shaft is extremely loose in here. There, it's not. It's not held in very well. Um, I had to take it out with pliers because I have grease on my hands. But other than that, it is extremely loose in that in those in those holes. So what that is doing, while while it's together, is your idler gear is actually going up and down under acceleration causing flex in your entire transmission. That's where you're stripping your top shafts out. So the solution that I have come up with is you get you a piece of plastic, usually out of a parts baggie or whatever, um, a little silophane, or if you're a smoker, that works as well. The silophane on your, the outside of your cigarette pack that will work also. Um, it's a little bit thinner than your parts package. So you may need that depending on the variance of the hole itself. So what I like to do, get everything nice and dry so you get grip, is you take the cellophane and you set the, the shaft on it in the hole and you push down into it. 
what that does is you can see it it made the indent so then you go ahead and get your hobby knife we're just going to cut it on here for the sole purpose and half the time it already cuts it as you can tell this already it cut it out for the most part i'm just finishing it off so once you go ahead and get this all cut out here camera lighting is making it very difficult to see uh, so you probably won't be able to see this, but I have the the template, we'll call it, cut out. And it's kind of just like a contact for your eye. If you guys wear contacts, you set that cellophane on there. And then you take your shaft. And you line it up. Make sure it all sits in well. You don't want don't want it hanging out because then it'll start rubbing into your eyelid gear and then you go ahead get your needle nose where it's flat so you don't bend it and just shove it down in place now you'll do this on both sides but um you'll do this the same thing on this side right here because that that sets in there but now there is absolutely zero wiggle in your top shaft or I'm sorry, your idler gear. So now when your transmission is together and you have that on both sides, this top, this idler gear is not flexing anymore. That is where people are blowing apart the top shaft gears. So go ahead, do that on both sides. What I just showed you with your cellophane, you press it down. You'll have to take that back out to press it in. Um, again, cut it out and then shove it back in there when you put it all together. And then you have a ready to run. Where'd the bearing go? Then you have a ready to go three gear B61 Team Associated three gear stand up transmission that is not going to blow out your top shaft. All right, guys, so that's the solution that I've come up with to keep that B16 transmission intact and from blowing apart on the racetrack and completely ending your guys' nights. So if you like what we're doing down here, uh, hit that subscribe button so we can keep bringing you guys more great videos. Until next time, stay classy, stay fast. We'll see you all on the racetrack.